All right, well, <coughs> I'm going to read my insights and draw a little interpretation of what it is. So. All right, using humor is a great way to keep the students engaged and interested. to drink water may help young students throughout the rest of their schooling. <laughs> Parents should understand how difficult it is for their children who are starting school. Art and music can stimulate the brain. By teaching, you're helping people grow. Brain gym exercises can help students who deal with anxiety. Vocabulary is the single best indicator of IQ. Thank you. 
got the uh, cards with the stars on the back of them. All right, you guys can go last. Ryan, do you have a card? I don't. I added them all up. All right, Sabrina? Yes. Okay, what does your card say? Should I read it out loud? Yeah. Plush object. The plush object is the reward for pass or playing pass or play. It's used because it can be appealing to a young student and rewarding to them. It encourages them to participate more often. Good job. Do you want to place that on the uh, correct picture? It would be on. Well, it could be plush object or passing it. Can I put it in the middle? Uh, it's one of the other. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris? Rainstorm. This is a non-verbal activity involving rubbing hands together, snapping fingers, stomping feet, and tapping the table with your fingers. This is a fun activity that creates the sound that rain makes. All right, can I have you place that on the uh, respective part of the board? Clarification, please. This is the proper way to ask for clarification about something in class. If the student is unsure, they can say clarification, please, and get extra help from the teachers or other students. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Using snow gloves. Have the parents try to cut something out or tie their shoe with mittens on it. Teaches the parents what children are dealing with, and it's not easy. It should be pleasing to the eye. Student work should be evident. Teachers should take down all of the students' work at the end of the year. And each year's class style belongs to the stu students of that year. Do you want to uh, test your creativity? I would love to. And try to... Uh, you can keep reading while I'm drawing. <laughs> <laughs> portfolios. Create portfolios instead of giving grades. This works for K through three, any artwork or pictures of students should be presented at parent-teacher conferences. That concludes the lesson.